I've always wanted to make games that would make people laugh, cry, feel something special. And I think I finally did it. What did you do? Instead of following my dreams and really trying my hardest to make something amazing or whatever I normally do. Today, I'm going to make a full 3D Unity game with AI. Just a fun experiment to see what my future job is going to be like, according to people on Twitter. And I'm not just going to have ChatGPT help me a little. No, I'm going to do everything with AI. 3D modeling, rigging, animation, texturing, scripting, even the ID itself. It's all possible now. Doesn't mean you should, but you can. I mean, what are humans still for? Why do I exist? I do feel like I'm kind of late to the party, but it's never too late to have fun, right? Am I going to have fun? This game is video. Just a stupid experiment. I don't like AI generated and artists for graphic consent. So I would directly use AI generated art in games I would actually release. Let's continue. So I started pretty optimistically. Let's fucking do this. Maybe this is gonna be really fun. Maybe I'm going to be pleasantly surprised about the good ideas ChatGPT will come up. Survival of the fattest? What the fuck, ChatGPT? What the at first it wouldn't even give me any ID. Give me the single best game ID that will generate millions of dollars. What do you mean you don't have the capability to predict which- And once it gave me a few fake ones, it couldn't even pick one. What do you mean you don't have personal preferences or emotions? So apparently you cannot let ChatGPT make every decision for you ever, which is a shame. They should work on that. But then I asked ChatGPT to give me funny game ID. <laughs> Office Olympics, apartment escape, toilet trouble. And I didn't realize this at first, but it just described existing board games or game shows. Even Toilet Trouble and Survival of the Fattest are real existing games, apparently. Which which brings me to my first discovery. AI only uses existing ID, which is a little boring, but we can work with that. So I asked ChatGPT to elaborate on some, and I ended up choosing Supermarket Sweepstakes, a game where you have to collect items from a chaotic supermarket within a time limit based on the classic TV show Supermarket Sweep, which I had never seen or heard of before, but it looks pretty funny. So I asked ChatGPT some more questions, and I was ready to go. So first, generating some concept art with Dolly. I had way too high expectations for this. And then I started generating 3D models with an AI called Point E. Okay. It's my first time ever creating a 3D model with AI, so... This doesn't even look like a shopping cart. This is not a shopping cart. This, what is this? Man, it's just... I'm just waiting. Just waiting around. I'm pretty disappointed. What I'm pretty disappointed in so far... That this is actually way more work than I thought. And I don't like that. I thought it was going to be funny because it wouldn't be any work. At some point, I just had to go with something. Fuck it. This is just going to be it. But this, there's no 3D model. This is, this, what the fuck? I don't, I don't think I like this AI future. Too much waiting. And before you know it, I was so bored, I started scrolling on TikTok. This really is going to be the future, isn't it? Watching TikToks while you wait for the AI to finish. And the results I was getting were also completely unusable. But then I did actually manage to generate a character for my game. This is going to be our character. You know, I never said this game was going to be good. So I still didn't have a shopping cart though. Making a shopping cart myself would have been faster at this point. I had to make a really quick ugly one in 30 seconds myself. I also quickly made some shelves. I'm not going to spend actual effort on this because that was not part of the plan but yeah point e really let me down time for texturing luckily ai can do this a little better i installed dream textures for blender to directly generate textures on 3d models which didn't really go well at first okay so apparently i wasn't using it correctly because it projects a texture from the angle you're viewing which results in these pretty weird uh end results and there's a lot of waiting again but then i generated textures for the character what the fuck is this what is amazing? <laughs> this is gonna be the weirdest fucking game ever. So before you can animate a character, you need to do rigging. I learned 3D rigging from my boss fight video and I've done it a couple times since, but I've never tried any automated rigging tools. There are actually AI rigging tools as well now, but I feel like automated rigging tools are good enough for what I need. So I tried a software called AccuRig. All I need to do is place the joints in the right place and the software does the rest for me. While placing joints on this weird ass character, I also had a realization moment. Oh, why am I even doing this? What the fuck am I doing? And just a couple minutes later, I was ready to generate the rig. <laughs> this is totally fine <laughs> okay honestly this software is really impressive let's be honest here this is perfect <laughs> there's also an ai powered animation software i really wanted to try but i think i'm gonna try that another time because i was struggling with importing the rig and getting everything to work but even easier is just using a website called mixamo <laughs> time to go to unity <laughs> God, what the f*** am I doing? Okay, well. Now it's time to make the game work. 
It didn't work perfectly right away. Something's happening. Uh, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh no. Okay, yeah, this works uh, perfectly. But after some time, I can move now. So for the other mechanics, first grabbing an item. So ChatGPT gives me wrong code, but it does fix it for me when I ask, so. Oh, it works. It totally works. I mean, ChatGPT is really wrong sometimes, but it all, it can also f fix its own bugs. What the f***? What? Now I want to fill this entire supermarket with items, and I obviously don't want to do that manually. Then I asked ChatGPT to write a custom shader for supermarket items, and I generated cereal box textures with Dolly, Gamepad, Gannet, Pamp. This is beautiful. Just making it worse. Curse. <laughs> And then I asked ChatGPT for a script that makes it rain products. Oh, yes. <laughs> Some actually perfectly drop on the shelves. Look at that. Then I had it write a script for collecting specific products. Oh, it totally works. Yeah, why would I spend all my time working on something I'm really passionate about and really challenging and really creatively fulfilling if I can just do this instead? It's really hard, mainly because the controls suck. And all I needed to do was create an enemy that will chase you in the supermarket. I don't think they did that in, in the game show. ChatGPT's ID, not, not mine. Angry Karen. Okay, it definitely doesn't know what a Karen is. What the, What is this? <laughs> What is this? I think this is gonna be the enemy. <laughs> what is this? this? What? Okay. Angry man with a shirt. <laughs> this is what I wanted when I started this. This is what it's all about. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a beautiful T pose. This is nothing wrong here. Oh, it can do stretching. Oh, it can walk. It can walk perfectly. <laughs> Oh man, imagine this is coming at you. <laughs> now I only forgot to generate a soundtrack. Yeah, this is a perfect relaxing song for this relaxing game. It is, it's, what's, this is not really nice actually. <laughs> I'm extremely disappointed. <laughs> okay, it's done. It's done. And then I asked my girlfriend to play test it. Oh, that is not good. Okay, oh, pass up, there comes the monster. Ah! Het loopt vast. Je hebt niet verloren. Waarom? Oké, okay, rennen. Oh, dit is de supermarkt. Oh my god. Oh my god! Snel, snel, snel! Jij hebt al drie scoren. Hij heeft een AI dit gemaakt. Waar is eigenlijk nou het monster? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> ja, dat was het. Ik wil nog een keer. Oh. Huh? Hey joh! <laughs> <laughs> Ik was in de lucht, zag je dat? Dat is een mooi spel. Nee. <laughs> Heb je ook die plaatjes gegenereerd? Maar het lijkt een beetje op van zo'n cornflakes bakje. Ik heb ook even ik heb ook cornflakes gegenereerd. Oh. Je hebt al elf punten, joh. Ik lees je niet meer. Oh, oh nee. Elf punten. Maar hij was nog niet eens bij mij. Gaan we nu eten maken? Nou, in conclusion, pretty cursed, weird end result. But in the AI's defense, I had a couple good laughs. I feel like people are using AI wrong. They're missing out on the biggest potential it has. Making ridiculously weird shit. Use it to make something totally stupid no human in their right mind would ever. That's what AI can do best. And the thing AI fans would say if they're watching this, and they probably already finished typing this comment saying, you just need to write better prompts, or I'm doing this wrong and that wrong, and you're probably right. Because yeah, I've seen people get better results. And I'm a really motivated learner, but not when it comes to practicing how to use AI. I thought AI was for saving time, not spending time. I'd rather spend time practicing things I like doing. So, but in the end, I just wanted to do a funny experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. But I did make a playable game without much effort. So impressive technology for sure. I also learned a lot. Like I didn't know what working with an AI for a day would actually feel like. I didn't realize how much waiting is involved. Easily 60% of the time I spent was, was waiting, getting a bad result and retrying with a different prompt and again and again. And sure, I'm trying to make nice 3D renders. There's also a lot of waiting and we're doing light baking for games and a lot of other creative jobs involve a lot of waiting for a computer to do its thing. But with AI, that's all of it. 
if this ever becomes a full-time job like ai people are saying it will you're literally just a waiter i mean someone who's, who's waiting a lot not like in a restaurant my honest review there are some nice things i might use it for coding advice or suggestions from chat gpt especially maybe try to generate possible inspiration if i'm really stuck but that's about it i'm also fine not using it for now we're at the point where some people completely panic when an ai surface is down because they already can't go without it anymore it's not even been half a year what the fuck can be good for laughs also good for stupid experiments but too much waiting five out of ten thanks for watching bye while editing this video i found out there's an ai out that can generate entire game prototypes out of nothing it's going way too fast this whole video is outdated before it's even out i hope you still enjoyed it though Sorry this video took a little longer than usual. When you see my next videos, you will understand why. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little unsure about making this video at first. You've probably heard many people being very vocal about this sh you, you either f***ing hate AI and ride against it, or love it and can't shut the f*** up about it. Remember when this first started and we were just laughing about weird AI generated memes? Can we go back to that please? <laughs> I'm really struggling trying to organize my thoughts on all of this. I don't want to write AI off completely like all the artists. I also don't want to cheer as I watch AI take over everything I love doing. So so it's hard. But the last thing I want to add is I think making games without AI is way more fun, way more fulfilling, way less waiting, way more interesting challenges and choices you can make. Being in control of every little detail and realizing your imagination from nothing. That's what I love doing. I like making stupid shit with AI though. That can be really entertaining. I prefer making funny, not too serious videos and just having fun. But but this is pretty serious shit and I, I do struggle with it. I do worry about the future, but let me know what you think in the comments. Sorry for the depressing note at the end. I'm not giving up my dreams. I'm working on a lot of cool projects. You can't stop me.